popcorn, cheesy burritos, or good old maki di roti. Maize is one of those whole grains that can be found anywhere in India. So it's no surprise that maize is the third largest cultivated crop in the country. But in 2018, maize production across India plummeted. From a positive growth rate of 11.7% in 2017, the total production growth rate for maize crashed to minus 3.61%. The crop first failed in Karnataka, and the destruction later spread to 20 other Indian states. But what killed this sturdy plant that can survive even with minimal resources? The answer shocked Indian scientists. The creature responsible for this widespread destruction was this insect, which has somehow made its way to India from Africa. Amid the fast failing crop, India had the smallest window to find a solution. This is Chikbalapur, a region in Karnataka famous for its agriculture. Here, most of the farmers grow maize as a major crop during the Kharif season. Narasimha Raju, a local farmer, has cultivated maize for decades. But in July 2018, Narasimha Raju saw something which he has never seen before on his farm. The maize plants across his farm were eaten up by a caterpillar. Four years ago, I was born in the fall of the year. I was born in the fall of the year. I was born in the fall of the year. I was born in the fall of the year. सुलीनो तीनों तय मतलब तेने बंदा का तेने नल्ले तीनों अंतर उन दो तंदरे ना कुर्ता इत्ते। It didn't take scientists from the National Bureau of Agricultural Insect Resources, Bengaluru, long to identify the new pest. Within a week, the scientists confirmed that the new pest was the fall armyworm. They needed to act fast to control its spread. The fall armyworm had destroyed hectares of maize farms in sub-Saharan countries and threatened the food security of at least 44 countries. The fall army worm is an invasive species, which simply means in this case that it is not native to India. But since it arrived from Africa, it was safe, or it was at best unknown to natural predators in India. The only way to control the ravaging pest attacks was by using chemical pesticides. But the high cost to treat hundreds of acres of affected crop was a deterrent. This is when the NBAIR developed a biocontrol agent against the fall army worm. Trichogramma. This is a one millimeter long insect and acts as a parasitoid. Parasitoid is nothing. They are the insect which parasitize the different stages of the pest, eggs, larvae, and pupae. What they do? They will parasitize the specific stage. They will complete their life cycle within that stage, and finally, the adults of these parasitoids will come out, and in that way, they stop. the further population of the pest this way the trichogramma enters the fall army worm eggs and kills them at least 1 lakh trichogramma eggs per acre are needed to kill the fall army worm the challenge now how do you raise an army of trichogramma in a short period scientists used a host to incubate the trichogramma in this case the eggs of the corsaira were used corsaira is a commonly found rice moth in india We are rearing these trichogrammatids on Corsaira eggs. These are the Corsaira eggs, which is which looks like rava. Corsaira eggs are easy to source in all parts of the country. This made the process affordable as well. The next step was to get the trichogramma parasitoid to invade the Corsaira eggs. To do this, glue is applied to one side of a white card. UV treated Corsaira eggs are sprinkled evenly onto this card. This is then exposed to a known species of trichogramma. Once we prepare this card, we expose these card with a uh, species with a known species of the trichogramma, and we expose for 24 hours. After 24 hours, we take out the card. Fourth day, they will turn black. That means they are parasitized by the trichogramma species. The species of trichogramma, date of exposure, and expected date of emergence of trichogramma insects were added to the card. The final product called trico cards were then shipped to the farmers. The farmers stapled these cards to the leaves of the infected maize plant in a staggered manner. Trichogramma adults emerged from the cards on the 8th day. They proceeded to invade the fall army worm eggs and feed on the inner contents of the eggs. 
when used with other biocontrol agents like biopesticides and pheromones, fall armyworm spread was reduced by around 70%. ಸರ್ ನಾನು ಬೇಸಿಗೆ ಒಳಗೆ ಜಾಳ ಬೆಳಿತೀನಿ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ದಿನ ಆದ ನಂತರ ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ಹುಳ ತಿಂತಾಯಿತ್ತು ನಾನು ಅಂಗಡಿಯಿಂದ ಔಷಧಿ ತಂದು ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ತಂದು ಹೊಡೆದಾಗ ಅದು ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಅಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ಗೆ ಬಂದಿಲ್ಲ ಅದು ವರ್ಷ ವರ್ಷ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ಕ್ವಿಂಟಾಲ್ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ಈಚೆಗೆ ಹುಳ ಕಾಣಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡೆ ಈಚೆಗೆ ಬರೋ ಐದು ಕ್ವಿಂಟಾಲ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗಿದೆ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಆಗಿಲ್ಲ ತಿರುಗಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪಕ್ಕದ ಕಡೆ ಬಂದಿದ್ರು ಒಬ್ಬರು ವಿಜ್ಞಾನಿಗಳು ಅವ್ರು ಬಂದು ಅವರ ಕಡೆಯಿಂದ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂಥರ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟರು ಕಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಾಗ ತಗೊಬಂದು ಅದನ್ನು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ನಾನು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ಗೆ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಇವಾಗ The trichogramma is only one of the 106 parasitoids that the NBAIR has developed to deal with agri pests. In the process, the institute has developed other beneficial insects that can help farmers. Apart from that, they have also developed predators, bacteria, fungi, pheromones and other friendly biocontrol agents. The insects, in general, the public people think that it, they are all ha harmful, but there are very, very useful insects. So those insects we use for the biological control purpose. Instead of applying insecticide, we do use these uh, biological control agents. So this institute actually, it is focusing on the non-chemical uh, control methods of the uh, pest. They are already there in the nature, but we, what we are doing right here, that we are mass multiplying them, we are maintaining their nucleus culture and giving training to the various institutions and organizations and universities for mass production. And then, then in turn, they also mass multiply and give it to the farmer. The timely interception and control measures by the NBAIR rescued close to 100 acres of farmland from the fall army worm attack in Chikbalapur and nearby districts in Karnataka. The trico cards developed by the institute are now manufactured by many private companies and are used across India. As a happy result, the country's corn production went up by 3.79% in 2019 and 10.02% in 2020. These beneficiary agents are helping Indian agriculture move towards chemical pesticide-free practices.